Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and this is the first ever 3D Now community print. So I've been right into the video, guys. I need all of your help on a special project that I'm doing on the channel. And it's going to involve all of you who have 3D printers. So about two months ago on my channel, I asked in a poll if you'd be interested in participating in a community print. And about 60% of you said you were interested, which is awesome. So a bunch of other 3D printing channels have done community prints. And, and this is where the creator gets a big model, cuts it up into a bunch of small pieces, and then sends those out to people in the community to print on their home printers, ships it back to the creator, and then the creator puts all those pieces back into the original model, to a huge model with a bunch of cool different materials and colors and, and parts printed from all over the world. And I thought that would be a fun project for us to do on the 3D Now channel. So what most people do is that they just say, send me an email, I'll send you an email with a part back. But I wanted to do a little bit better than that. So what I did was create a custom website, which can handle all the logistics of running a community print. So as you can see here, the model we are doing first is of course the 3D Now Maker coin, but it's gonna be 10 times the original scale. You can see here, this is what it looks like, but it's gonna be two by two feet, which is gonna be humongous. And so what I did was chop all this up into small little pieces, which you guys can print out and ship to me. And then I'll put it together on a live stream. So that's right, I'm gonna be unboxing all of your parts if you choose to participate on a live stream on my channel. And I'll be talking with you guys, unboxing the parts you, you sent in and any other stuff you want to send to me. So this community print has 56 parts in it, ranging from big to medium to small. And I made them so that it can fit on most 3D printers. So what you're gonna to need to do to start off and help out with this project is to go to 3dnow.ddns.net. That's the name. And it's gonna bring you to this page right here. So you can see here, once we get started, it'll show the progress bar of how many parts we have printed so far. Right now it's at 0% because we didn't start yet. But to create an account, you're gonna to need to press this button right here and then fill out this form. It's pretty simple, just your name, email, and password. So this is just, just, just a little bit about the print here. These are all the models that you can print. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go up here and click log in. It's gonna put my stuff in automatically. Log in and here is the dashboard. We can see here all the stats. Again, the progress bar, the total parts in the model, which is 56. How many parts not reserved? So there's of course one reserved. Um, total parts printed so far and total parts received. So we're at zero, zero but we hopefully wanna get this up to the entire model. So I want all of you in the community to join me and print, a, and print a part or multiple parts and send them in. It would be super awesome to get the whole 3D Now community involved in this print. So if you scroll down, we can see here, these are the steps to get started. The first one is to select a model or models from the My Parts menu over here, which we'll get to in a second. You can pick one or many. Once you pick your part and you reserve it to your account, that means it is your part. So then you can go ahead and start printing your parts with the color scheme, which for this, of course, is my channel colors, which is any shade of green, any black or gray or whites, things like that. And do not change the part scale because they're all designed to fit into each other and create the 3D Now Maker point at 10x scale. And then, and these parts are pretty big, so use a low infill, so the parts are gonna be lighter and faster to print. In addition, you can use any material you want as long as the print comes out correctly. Also, you can ship your parts to the address right here and make sure you put a paper in the box or some sort of thing that tells me what parts are in that box so I can assemble them correctly. Down here, you can, you can see the 3D model. It takes a little bit to load, but it is down there. And then down at the bottom here, we have project updates, which I will be posting um, throughout the whole community print. You can see I have a few so far. So, so uh, over here on the left, you see we have our dashboard. You have your name here and your and in your profile picture, which you can change. So over here, the, the second one down from dashboard is my parts. You can click on that and you can see once it loads and you can see your parts here. So here I'll show you your reserved parts. Right now I do not have any, but you can pick from all the parts here. They say available if they're available to be taken. You can either, you can click on preview model and it'll take a little bit to load, but it'll show you what the model is gonna look like. There we go, so this is a 3D viewer. So you can see exactly what the part is gonna look like. So this is what this part that I clicked looks like. And you can go through all the parts. You can see they go part 001 all the way up to 56. 
down here. And, and if you want to say, say uh, this is a small part here, I want to print this part. I click print this part and reserve part. And then it'll put it on my account. So now I see I have my reserved parts here. And then now you can see it's printing. So now you can go ahead and print that part. Once you're all done, you can click print finished and, and, and say print shipped. And, and that tells me that you shipped your, your part or multiple parts to me. And then, and then in my admin console over here, I can check off that your part was received. And then, and then our stats on the dashboard are gonna update. So also we have a forum over here. There, there are no comments yet, of course, but, but we can all chat in here. And talk about the community print, any problems or concerns you have, or, or chat pretty much about anything you want here. And we have our profile tab, which again over here, you can change your profile and your profile picture you can just put in a url of any picture it has to end in a picture extension and then you paste that in there put in your password for confirmation and save your account and then your profile picture will show up over here and it'll show up in the forum next to your name and and so this is the admin console for me but then you can log out if you want and you can print more parts if you want or things like that so once most of the parts are, are received by me I'm going to do a live stream on my channel and I will unbox all the parts that, that, that I get in and hopefully talk with you guys in the live stream and have some fun. So I hope you guys want to join me in this community print. If you do, please make an account, pick some parts to print, print them. Also tell your friends, retweet this, share on Instagram. And my goal is to hopefully have people from outside the United States join in and, and ship some parts in so we can get this community print to be worldwide. So I'm guessing this project is gonna last probably about a month or, or maybe a little bit more to get all the parts shipped in. And once that happens, I, I will make a full video of, of the whole process and putting the model together and showing you guys what the final product looks like. So again, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you wanna participate, please, please make an account and start reserving your models and start printing. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. I will answer every single one of them. Subscribe for more 3D printing videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.